45 minutes, morning cardio, now complete. Cardio has now been bumped up from 40 minutes fasted all the way to 45 minutes, which is a total of 35 minutes across the week. And combined with the calorie drop, I'm gonna show you in today's full day of eating, it's getting tough. We are currently six weeks out and things are starting to really kick in. Oh my God. So before we make breakfast, I'm gonna go in the shower, go downstairs, weigh myself, see what I'm currently at, do a bit of a physique update, take some check-ins for my coach, send it off, I wait for any fluctuations. We don't make changes always midweek, but he does like to see what my body's looking like midweek, just to see how I'm reacting to the changes he made on the weekend. But when we're showered, I'm ready, we'll get those check-ins sent to get out of this sweaty hood. You don't even wanna know how much sweat is currently in this jumper. Probably about the same amount as what's left in the shaker. <laughs> now, on the topic of morning liquids, do we have any rains or monsters? We're out. Oh my god, wait, what's this one? Dragon tea? Definitely not. There is another option. There might be something in this fridge. We are completely out. Two things I'll start my day with pretty much every single day now is a caffeinated beverage, and as well, we'll make a cup of tea with some vanilla flavor drops. My weight is substantially dropping quite fast, like changes are happening every single day now. The next four weeks until we increase carbs going into the show to fill out again, because this next four weeks is going to be nothing less than the hardest push of my entire life to hopefully at the end of this competing season, walk away with an IFBB pro card. Drop a like if you're excited for the video, turn on your post notifications, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. We're at least gonna grab a bottle of water to start the day because H2O is important as well. It's not all about caffeine. Well, is it? It might be. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, we have officially hit a new low of 213 pound. We've literally dropped another two pound in the last two weeks. Like the weight drop has not stopped. We have like steadily lost two pound a week every single week this entire prep so far, which means that everything we are doing is actually working, sticking to the plan and doing everything as it's meant to be done has definitely shown and is paying off. Like going through some poses and stuff, seeing that my ab definition is coming through. Legs are a little bit flat right now, but considering the dropping calories and the amount of cardio that I'm doing, flatness is something we're gonna have to deal with before we fill back up closer towards the show because to push for the condition that we need for this show, we are gonna have to get very, very flat which inevitably is going to make my physique look kind of lifeless at some points it is all necessary to push for the condition that we need for show Now we're all showered and ready, we're gonna start the day off with meal number one, and this is how you make it. You can get a frying pan, spray the pan very lightly with some zero calorie spray. I add in a heaping handful of spinach. I feel like the spinach handful is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as we go through prep now. Adding volume to my meals is definitely helping with satiation and making me feel full. Then I'll crack one egg into the pan and 300 milliliters of egg whites. And then of course, we have the signature pro card cookie. Only a small one with breakfast. And my rest day is on the nighttime because meal two has now been switched from oat to cream of wheat, which you'll see in the next meal. 60 grams of oats, half a teaspoon of baking powder, some pink Himalayan salt, a couple squirts of toffee flavor drops just to add the flavor, 25 grams of protein, and then slowly add water and stir until you match a cookie paste consistency. 50 grams of frozen blueberries, and then I've got a piece of aluminum foil. You need to remember to spray it because the cookie will stick in the air fryer. Thinly slather the cookie paste over the tin foil. Bang it in the air fryer for eight minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and your cookie will be done. You know you're really on prep when you lick the container 
of the oats. I'm at the point now where I don't even bother putting the cookie on a plate. I kind of just eat it off the tinfoil. And then here we have the eggs. I've lightly slathered some of this barbecue sauce over the top, which is 10 calories per two tablespoons, which is incredible because I'm now going to be using this instead of this, which is 10 calories per one teaspoon. Just by switching the condiments to this, I'm having about 30 calories less than having this with the same serving size. Now things like condiment control are really important considering we are six weeks out. Switching to this sauce from this sauce, which is incredible. Like I love sweet and hot, but we're at the point now where we really need to be conscious of these things. Switching these sauces is saving me about 150 calories over an entire week, which amounted up considering I have it in two meals. Breakfast is made. I'm gonna absolutely destroy this meal because it's a bit later in the day right now. Look at that runny egg. Oh my God, that's perfect. <laughs> the egg is like a perfect amount of runny so I can dip the egg whites in the egg yolk. Mm. Now for the pro card cookie. If I'm still allowed to eat these one week out from show, this prep is actually gonna be quite enjoyable. Yes, it's just gonna be a struggle. We don't have any Walden Farm syrup today, so I'm eating this dry. But to be honest, it's still good. So considering we're heading to the gym in the next 20 minutes, we do need to make a pre-workout meal. This is the pre-workout meal that I haven't been having the entire prep because it used to be the cookie, but now, like I said earlier, it is cream of wheat. It's not in every country. I personally can't find it in the UK, but considering we are in Canada and it's here, we can obviously utilize it during prep. The reason cream of wheat at this point of prep is better than oats is because it actually has zero fat, which means my fat is gonna be around 40 grams of fat lower for an entire week just switching from oats to cream of wheat. Now to make the cream of wheat the way I like it, I essentially put the cream of wheat in a bowl, add some water, then put it in the microwave in 30 second increments, stirring until it's at consistency that I like. Some pink Himalayan salt, some toffee flavor drops again into this because flavor drops just make everything taste so much better. 15 grams of almond butter and 50 grams of frozen blueberries. I'll stir it all together and then here we have a bowl of my pre-workout meal. The macros are going to be listed on the screen down below as well as the calorie count and then at the end of the day we'll come together and I'll talk about my final macro and calories for the entire day at the moment six weeks out just having the last bite of the pre-workout meal while looking over the next episode of the hardcast the link to the podcast channel is in the description down below if you haven't yet subscribed to the podcast channel but the first guest appearance is going live on thursday so the day after this video goes live so head over to the channel and check it out if you haven't watched the first episode well when you don't do it often yes yeah, yeah. you will it's like you can feel the muscle fibers they're talking to you like hey motherfucker i'm here <laughs> and I'm fine. all right now it's done, I'm gonna make a pre-workout and then head off to the gym. All right, pre-workout. Carbs, some creatine. Still included in the pre-workout drink, I'm still having a scoop of creatine. Also a heaping scoop of cyclic dextrin. I'm still having 30 grams of carbs from this a day. So I just mix this in with everything I also have for a pre-workout just to like get it down. And honestly, like I don't like training with a full stomach of water anyway. Like one shake is just enough, any more than that. I feel quite uncomfortable during the workout. And if by chance you do want to pick up anything that I'm using for my pre-workouts and my sort of dextrin, my creatine, all that kind of thing, you can use code HARDBODY at checkout of the HG Muscle website and it will actually save you 10% as well. So not only do you help me out, but I'm also helping you out with a little bit of a discount as well. And this pre-workout, the Sour Gummy Ultra, is definitely gonna save me from today's Lego workout because I'm training with Mike, the same guy that I hit chest with in a previous video. We're actually just filming this today for the HG Muscle YouTube channel. And this is a full day of eating, so I just wanna keep it all about the food. And then after the workout, we're gonna head to the store to get a caffeinated beverage and then make me on number three of the day. Oh my God. One of the hardest leg days I've ever had in my entire life. I think I'm able to use some of the footage in my next YouTube video after this one, but oh my God, definitely necessary. So it was definitely one of those workouts where you have to question like why you're doing what you're doing and like what's really important to you. And this is what's gonna like kind of separate your placing and stuff on show day. Because there was a moment like where I had to lie down, went to the bathroom, drank some water, felt like I was gonna be sick. And at the very end, when I realized I was like everything I do right now in Canada, over the next four weeks to take back with me to the UK is everything that I'll be showcasing on stage. So everything I do now matters. And it kind of like made my emotions buckle. And like, I went to go shed a tear, but I was like, no, 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 we're not there yet. I did get emotional because like, when you want something so badly and you put so much into it, enough to like scream in the gym to get through your sets, it's crazy. Your body's kind of out of control. <laughs> So we just come to Herx Nutrition in Burlington to pick up a couple things. We ran out of Walden Farm syrup and we need some caffeine. The maple walnut and just the regular pancake syrup. It should be good for about three days. Do they have the orange? Yep. Oh, stock up. Correct me if I'm wrong, but orange dreamsicle is the new OG of caffeinated drinks. Jesus, how many are you getting? Four? Yeah, get some white monster and some mango monster. <laughs> Caffeine secured. When are they gonna sack off these masks? Just got back to the house, got back from McDonald's, got a triple cheeseburger, double quarter pounder, quadruple Big Mac. I'm joking. Ew, 
and a large fries. We go to McDonald's now and again because it's literally just down the street just to get a Diet Coke because in a large Diet Coke from McDonald's, there is zero calories. I do limit myself to an energy drink and then like one of these every single day on prep, especially now the calories are so much lower. Rather than going off plan, I can stay on plan and have this. If you are consistent with all that kind of thing on prep, your body regulates sodium. So if you are consistent with your seasonings, your drinks, your condiments, all that kind of thing, your body will regulate it. As long as you decrease slightly as you get closer to the show, like one week out, probably not going to be drinking Diet Coke. But for right now, it's all good. Also, while I was gone, came back to this incredibly humongous package with the name Brandon on it. So it definitely must be for me. And inside is something that I'm extremely excited to show you. Because it's been a while since Alphalete had a huge launch. Coming this Saturday, there is a lot that's gonna be releasing. And the majority of it is literally packed inside this box. Oh, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> Not everything here is releasing on Saturday. Some things are gonna be releasing at the end of May. A lot of this stuff is gonna be dropping on Saturday. I wanna show you two of my favorite things right now in a second, but we'll be doing a full haul to show you what's gonna be coming in Friday's YouTube video, which is the day before the launch, so you can get a good idea of what's gonna be dropping on the weekend. Definitely, most probably, going to get in trouble for showing you this because no one has ever spoken about this yet. Alphalete haven't announced anything, but I really want you to get like a sneak peek of what potentially will be coming at the end of this month, the Monarch Collection by Alphalete. And we actually have this in a bunch of colors. I can't even really show you. I don't want to like take it out and show you too much. It's almost like a jumper material. Based on the pure quality of Alphalete clothing, if they're breaching into like more of the fashion realm, this is going to be sick. This is Alphalete's very first ever three quarter sleeve and it's sick because it matches a lot of their new line which is camo because they're bringing camo back because everyone loved camo previously. So a lot of their new range releasing this weekend is obviously camo. White and silver. I think it's called silver camo because it's like a nice gray tone camo. But personally, this fits me like actually fantastic. Whenever I have a long sleeve, I always roll them up to this point anyway. So this just cuts out the rolling. Gray camo joggers. And this is their core jogger. It's literally releasing in 12 different colors. This is the first outfit. And now here is the second. All right, so here we have the silver. <laughs> Put them in it. So I got the, um, the silver core cut off and the core short as well. I am feeling the hell out of these shorts. The color is Cyclone. What a cool name for shorts. The cut off itself is shaped like unbelievably perfect. Like I feel like this shirt as if it was actually made for me. We haven't lost too much size on the upper half yet, so I'm still in XL, but in the shorts, I am a large. I don't like it when shorts like flare out the side, it just makes your knees look small. Personally, not a fan of that. The logo on the chest is really, really raised. Like the print is so thick, it would like, you could just never wash it off. You couldn't even scrape it off with a tool. The quality is just unbelievable. And then the shorts, of course, these are, I think the first of the core range. They're literally releasing these shorts in like 12 different colors as well as the jogger Like they have really gone in on color variety this time So you will literally no doubtably find a pair of shorts that you like in a specific color that suits the way you like to dress Code hard buddy at the Alphalete checkout this Saturday will greatly greatly support me and I will be doing the three $100 Alphalete gift card giveaway so if you use my code on Saturday Post it on your Instagram story. Tag me so I can see it. I'll be looking through all the story tags, thanking you personally for using my code, and you'll be in for a chance to win one of the three $100 Alphalete gift cards to use on the launch at the end of this month. It's gonna be pretty sick. I've got a freaking shoulder pump like holding this camera, man. All right, now we're gonna make a post-workout meal. So to make meal number three, what I'll do is, is I'll get 100 grams dry weight of jasmine rice, cook it in the microwave in a pot. Then when it's soaked up all the water and the rice is cooked, I'll sprinkle over some garlic over the top of it. Garlic for me on prep is an essential seasoning because it just tastes and smells so freaking good. Then I'll heat a pan up, I'll chop up my zucchini, cook the zucchini before the chicken because it takes a little bit longer than the chicken. I'll season the zucchini lightly with some pink Himalayan salt. It's exactly 150 grams of zucchini. And then chicken, we have 200 grams uncooked weight, throw it into the pan, seasoned with one of my favorite seasonings, which is this right here. It's called Vegeta and it's absolutely fantastic on any sort of meat. I throw it in the same pot that I made the rice with, add a little bit of the barbecue sauce that I had from earlier, then mix it all together so the garlic, the barbecue, and all the food mashes together into this nice, wonderful pot of post-workout meal. The macros and calories are gonna be seen on screen down below. I, right now, I'm going to really, really enjoy this meal. Get on with some work and then I'll see you guys again at the next meal. Oh my God, it feels so good to put food in my mouth. <clears throat> the 
This next meal is actually kind of two meals combined. Fourth meal and my fifth meal are peasantly small, like literally pointless meals. It's literally a source of protein. One is chicken, one is beef. Lean, 5% beef, of course, with a serving of vegetables. So what I've actually chosen to do is, is combine these meals because it's quite late at night right now. It's actually like nine o'clock. I've developed this fetish, <laughs> eating out of this wooden bowl because it feels like when you scrape your cutlery on the bottom of it, it doesn't make that weird like clanging sound that it would if it was a bowl. It's a very nice sized bowl as well to combine these two meals. The macros of this meal are gonna be listed on the screen down below. There isn't a lot of carbs and there isn't a lot of fat in this meal whatsoever. I'm literally having all of my carbs in the morning, pre and post workout. I used to have my pro card cookie before bed, but then Callum decided six weeks out, we're taking away the cookie and your before bed meal, which I'm gonna tell you right now, is actually just two scoops of protein of choice, 15 grams of almond butter. And now I'll show you the kitchen in the living room. Is that good? How good is that? It's very good. My what? taste buds have been like more refined recently. Almond butter used to suck. And I was like, peanut butter is so much better. But now almond butter is amazing. <sighs> Prep feels 1000%. Cool. Sometimes I throw it all in a blender, add some ice, add some xanthan gum, flavor drops, and turn it into some really nice protein ice cream. But tonight, I really can't be bothered to make that. I'm just gonna make a protein shake of 50 grams total of protein, and I'm just gonna eat the 15 grams of almond butter just straight out of the tub. The leg workout really took a lot of energy out of me, and especially having less energy in the day right now, sleep is becoming more and more important, and so much more of a necessity as the weeks go by. So this is meal number four and five, meal six, I've just told you, and that is everything that I'm consuming at the moment, six weeks out from my competition. All of my macros and calories are gonna be listed on the screen down below if you're interested in the exact macros and calories that all of the meals today amounted to. Of course, there are a few extra calories added in from some of the sources that I had, but to be honest, keeping condiments and all that kind of thing regulated the entire prep. It's not something you really have to ever track. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating six weeks out. Smash a like if you enjoyed it. Turn on post notifications. One, it really helps me out. Two, you'll never miss a future video. And three, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.